Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. Welcome back to the Short and Sweet series. I'm not texting while we have the video. Actually, uh, a good function of a smartphone is to contain Torah in it. I mean, what else is a smartphone for, right? So, so I was going to share with you a quick insight that um, appears in my commentary, uh, Short and Sweet on the Parsha, but I'll share with you from my phone. So in the Chumash, in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, there is a verse that says that at the end of Abraham's life, when Abraham was old, it says that Abraham was old, ba bayamim, he came with his days. So the question is, what does it mean he came with his days? Abraham got old, he was old at the end of his life, he came with his days. What does that mean? He went somewhere and he brought a stack a pile of old calendars with him? What does it mean he came with his days? What is that about, right? So the Zohar, the classic basic foundation book of Kabbalah, of Jewish mystical teachings, written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, comments on here something very interesting. And he says as follows, okay? That basically, here's what you have to know. In Gan Eden, in the Garden of Eden, meaning in the next world, a person... Uh, when a person leaves this world, we exist in neshama form. We exist as a soul, and that's what we are in the next world. The question is, when we go to the next world, what is up there in Shemayim and Gan Eden? What are we, a bunch of like clouds floating around? And that's my grandma, and that's my grandpa, and that's my Rabbeinu. Like, what are we? So uh, the way the Zohar explains it is that the neshama, the soul, in, in Gan Eden, in heaven, it actually exists in a way that it is clothed. It has begodim, it has clothing on it. So you might say, well, what is it wearing? So the Zohar explains something very, very fascinating, that the garment, the lavush, the begodim of the soul in the next world is the time that it used correctly down here in this world. In other words, if a person will use his time or her time correctly while we're here to learn Torah, to do mitzvot, to help people, to make people's lives better, to do chesed, to do kindness, to devote ourselves to, to improving Am Yisrael, great things like this. That time that we didn't waste and we used correctly actually becomes the clothing for that person's soul in the next world. So if a person uses all of their time correctly, you're really ready to go when you get upstairs. Unfortunately, if a person wasted massive chunks of their time or weeks or years or decades or who knows what, then you're not going to have that when you go to the next world. Okay, you follow? And in fact, the Zohar says something very, very cool. If you look in the beginning of the Torah, we find the famous story of Adam and Chava, Adam and Eve, Adam and Chava in Gan Eden, not the Gan Eden in Shemayim, but the Garden of Eden down here. And we find that what happened for them we find that they sinned on their first day they were created. They were created. And already that day they sinned in the Garden of Eden. I mean, you know, things happen. Well, that is what happened. And what happened? So then the verse says then that they realized they were naked. They, they, were, they didn't have clothing. And then the verse says that God dressed them. God dressed them and made begodim for them. So the simple understanding is that after they sinned in the Garden, their awareness changed, and they realized they didn't have clothing, and then they felt embarrassment, busha, shame, and then they, and then they want to close. That's the simple understanding. That's a simple idea, and that is true. But there's something even bigger and deeper than that. And the Zohar explains that what happened is that God gave them time. God gave them day one of creation. Day one in history, right? Well, it wasn't day one of creation. They were created on day six. But you know what I mean. Day one of human history. And what happened? They had one day and they wasted it by rebelling against Hashem, by rebelling against God's word. So what happened? So since they were in Gan Eden and they had wasted the time, God had to fashion for them new begadim. You follow? So therefore, so what does this all have to do with Avram Avinu? This has to do with Avram Avinu, the Zohar is saying, because Avraham, Baba Yomim, what does it mean he came with his days? Avraham even though he was already a very, very elderly man, he had used his time in this world that God had given him for chesed, for meaningful things, for mitzvot, for Torah, for, for helping people, for spreading awareness of God in the world, for tzedakah, for charity. Abraham had used his time incredibly well. 
So as he entered the final stage of his life, the very end of his years in this world, Ba Ba Yamim, he came with his days. He had come with a package of days and weeks and years and well more than a century and a half of loyalty to God and service of him that was basically time well spent that he was going to take with him to eternity short time thereafter. The bottom line takeaway from this clip is that I want to urge you and implore you to take your time seriously. In English, there's an expression, and, and, and I don't know if they have this in other exp languages, but we have an expression in English, it's called kill time. Sometimes a person says, eh, I got 30 minutes, so I gotta get to my meeting, uh, I have some time to kill. But for a Jew, or a spiritually sensitive person, there is no such thing as kill time, because time is the fabric of life itself, both in this world and the next. So it's very important to always try to find ways to fill your time productively, and constructively with things that are eternal and meaningful as much as you can because you're going to encounter this time once again and hopefully you'll be encountering something used positively that the Zohar describes will actually be your garments for your eternity. Okay? Hope that clip was fascinating to you. This is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. Um, thank you for checking out the Short and Sweet series. This last insight I just gave you is found in my commentary, Short and Sweet, on the Parsha, on Parsha's Vayechi. We will see you the next time. Thanks for checking in. Bye.